Good morning, and welcome to the 5 Before Podcast. Again, if you're just joining with us, you're not listening to one you've already listened to. This is a new one today. Um, we've been pre-recording. For, we, we pre-recorded on Wednesday for today, and it feels weird because um, I look the same. I'm opening the same, and it just feels weird. But Super Bowl Sunday is right around the corner, and I'm really excited about that. And uh, more importantly, before Super Bowl, the Super Bowl is played, I'm, in, I'm excited about what God's going to do at church this week we start a brand new series this week about marriage family love relationships parenting uh friendships dating single people divorcees um listen i've got so much content over the next few weeks that we're going to share about all this stuff through the month of february the month of february is the love month i do have a question yes will we be seeing the timmy and tommy show we are going to see a timmy and tommy show Yes, we are. We're also going to have a prize pack, Aaron, every single week that we're going to give out to somebody. Um, so, like, it might be a guy's day for two guys to go out and, like, just some bro time where you and your your best bud, like, we're going to give away Braves tickets. We're going to give away movie tickets to, like, a couple, uh, like a husband and wife uh, to go out. Maybe you're some girls and you and your girlfriend want to go out uh, to hang out and, and just, you know, talk about Jesus and spend some time together because she's your best friend and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pour into all of that stuff in your life give out some um uh, pedicures stuff like that so it's gonna be really awesome it's gonna be a really good month but yeah the timmy and tommy show is gonna make an appearance don't worry about that definitely we got to hear their incredible insight to these uh important topics but if you're struggling um you know with friendships having the right relationships, the right voices in your life, your marriage, parenting, this is the month you need to be there because we're going to be addressing all of that stuff. And I'm just really excited. I just believe in marriage and family very, very much. So um, we're going to finish on fasting today. And I have one last passage I'm going to read to you. And it actually is the completion of a section I read the very first week we read out of Isaiah chapter 6. And Isaiah started talking about the fast that they were doing and how God says, I'm not a part of this. I'm not listening to this. And, and I'm not really going to expound on this very much. I just want to finalize this fasting time and we get to, we're breaking our fast on Sunday corporately. Doesn't mean you can't still keep going if you're enjoying it and you're getting a lot out of it. Listen, do what God tells you to do. Uh, but as a corporate group, we're kind of uh, releasing this time. But as that chapter completes, it says in Isaiah chapter 58, I'm going to read a long passage here, verse 6. It says, God looks down and says, is this not the kind of fasting I've chosen to loose the chains of injustice and untie the yoke to the cords of the yoke to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to clothe them? and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood. Then your light will break forth like the dawn. I love that language. And your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you. And the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call and the Lord will answer and you will cry for help. And he will say, here I am. If you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger and malicious talk, And if you spend yourselves in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and he will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets and dwellings. If you keep your feet from breaking the Sabbath and from doing as you please on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holy day honorable, and if your holy, I mean, if and if your honor is not by going your own way and not doing as you please or speaking idle words, then you will find your joy in the Lord, and I will cause you to ride on the heights of the land and to feast on the inheritance of your father Jacob. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. So he says all of this stuff, and again, I'm not going to expound upon this because it's kind of long. I just wanted you to hear 
as Jesus, as God started talking about the fast that he did not call us to, he says, let me tell you what the fast I've called you to looks like. Freedom, healing, light and darkness, making you light. He's going to help us in our times of need. All of these things that we read here, this is what the fast that he's called us to. So he says, let me tell you what a normal fast should look like. And he writes it out for us. He, he speaks it out for us, what a normal fast should look like in the life of a believer. So this is what it should look like. And that's why as we end this, I encourage you, don't let this be just a way that you start the new year. Do it throughout the year. Pick a day, a time or two. I, let God, you know, ask God, say, God, what, what would you have me give up today? What would you have me do? Would you have me fast today? And, and so that we can see these things be constant in our life. We don't want these things um, to be rare in our life. And unfortunately, what I've seen for so many people is this list of things becomes a rarity and it shouldn't be a rarity. It should be the norm. And uh, it becomes a norm when we put the things that God has put into place in our life to be a part of and to do and to operate in. When we make those things a norm, these things become a norm. So listen, as we break the fast on Sunday, again, just kind of let God lead you. And throughout the year, I just encourage you just to say, okay, God, what would you have me do? Because I want to see all of this that we read in Isaiah chapter 58. I want to see all of this be the norm of my life. And I believe it can happen. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for joining with us in a fast. Those of you that have, and those of you that have not, it's not too late. It's just Friday. Uh, we're not giving up. We're not, we're not stopping corporately until Sunday. So you still have a couple days even to just join with us corporately. Um, but man, thank you. We want to continue to hear your testimonies and stories about what God's doing through your fast. And uh, again, in the future, if I can ever answer any questions about this subject, I'd be more than happy to. Man, we love you guys very much. Let me pray for you as we end this series on fasting. Thank you, God, for the last 20 you know, I guess we're on 19 days right now, and it will be 21 days on Sunday that we've joined together and we've just been focused on laying things down, sacrificing things, giving up things, not so that we give things up, but God, so that we could focus on you and that we could receive more of you, that we could spend more time with you, that we could hear you. We've been through a lot over the last few weeks about rewards and things that you do through fasting. And God, as we close this out, I just pray that, that this would be the normal in our lives, that we would continue to live lives of fasting, not just when a pastor even calls us to it, that we would be mindful in our spirit to say, okay, God, what would you have me do, God, so that we could see you operate in these ways. And I want to see every one of the things that we've read over the last few weeks and even today in Isaiah chapter 58, just be a part of our everyday lives. Make it so. Make it so. And I just pray that as, as those that have joined with us um, in this thing or close out this season of fasting, God, that they, have it, that they would realize they have not even seen all that you're going to do. And God, they haven't experienced all that, that, that you're going to fulfill and all that you're going to accomplish in their lives, God. I just pray they would know that right now and they would just live with great anticipation and expectation for what you're going to do because they've been faithful to you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen, man. We love you guys so much. Uh, hopefully we'll see you Sunday for the first uh, part of our series relationship goals. Would love to have you. And uh, if not, we'll see you again on Monday for the five before.